Hello and welcome! In this example, I want to show you how to condense logarithms down to a single logarithm uh, just by using all the different laws of logarithms. So those laws are basically the product rule where we can take two logs that are added and multiply their insides together. There's the quotient rule what says if they're subtracted we can put their insides divided. And then there's the power rule. And that one says if there's a number multiplied out front that it can move inside and become an exponent. So watch for those three properties to show up as we go through. Now the first thing I want to take care of are basically these numbers in front of each of the logarithms. Using my power rule, each of these will become an exponent inside the log. So this will be log of x to the 1 half plus log of y to the third minus log of x to the fourth. There we go. Now, these two logs are being added, and these two are being subtracted. According to our order of operations, we want to work from left to right, so let's combine these two logs first. Since they're being added, I'm going to use the product rule that says I will multiply their insides together. So x to the 1 half will be multiplied by y to the third. There we go. And now that brings us down to just two logs, and I can combine those using the quotient rule because they're being subtracted. This will make it log of x to the 1 half, y to the third, all being divided by x to the fourth. There we go. Now this takes it down into a single logarithm. But notice how in the top and in the bottom we still have an x. Well, one thing I can do is work on these x's by using the property for exponents that says I can subtract them. So x to the 1 half, let's see, m minus the 4, there we go. This would be x to the 1 half minus an 8 halves, all right, or just x equals or x to the negative 7 halves. All right. This means I will write the log as x to the negative 7 halves times y to the third. There we go. So not only do we have it down into a single logarithm, I've made sure that I've combined all my variables as far as I could. And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.